hey hi friend uh, welcome back to the series uh, last video we have installed the adk and uh, now we are prepared for the sql right and we have extracted the sql go to the sccm server here we have the sql 2008 r2 enterprise edition just run the script i mean run this and uh, now it started the sql server installation uh, so it is required you know for the reporting uh, sql uh, database is required for the ccm so here go to the installation new installation with the next okay so it will take some time to pre-requisites need to be checked yeah it's checked so all past okay you can read and also not required because it's all our past pass press okay and uh, now it will start the uh, uh, sql setup process uh, we need to wait uh, for some time yeah uh, the product key also there if you not there then click the next and I accept the license next and start the installation uh, so it will start the installation process um, and we need to wait uh, for some time Uh, if we are getting any problem in, uh, in, in, in during the SQL installation also there is a no issue because we already taken the uh, snapshot of the server so we can revert okay so that's the reason I have taken the snapshot even you also take the snapshot because if anything goes wrong uh, 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 then you need to uh, start the process from beginning so it, it is very hectic job so uh, it is better to take snapshot and each uh, you know uh, configuration so if anything you know, goes wrong anything you get the problem on this uh, con configuration so you can revert back right uh, so here uh, yeah uh, that all these things are asked uh, windows firewall warning it's okay uh, it's not failed right it's warning it's okay and here sql server feature installation is powerpoint yes uh, it's sql server feature installation next uh, here uh, uh, you can select all okay click the next So details yes all are passed these thing not applicable but okay take the next yeah new instance is required okay click the next and default instance the program uh, uh, instance I mean instance root directory will be C program file Microsoft SQL server uh, it will create the direct in program file uh, so it asking the disk assess summary uh, here okay click the next okay uh, here you need to uh, select the account name which is uh, administrator right you need to uh, select uh, entire directory mycompany.com it's administrator check name yes uh, same thing also you need to do uh, uh, 
uh, here because we are using as a as a testing environment as a demonstration environment so uh, we use uh, you know administrator but this is not for the production environment be careful uh, for the production environment there should be a uh, some uh, id uh, for the id for the ccm admin it might be ccm admin so administrators oh i'm sorry administrator okay here also same thing you need to choose approach administrator check name correct same thing you have to be uh, do for the reporting services S -T -R -A -T -O -R. okay so you need to give the password and it do it automatic so you can give your administrator password okay Here also you can give correct all this thing is done. Um, yes, you make one scroll to service. Click the next. Uh, here at user account direction. It's okay. No problem. Click the next. Um, no issue. Click the next. Install the native mode default configuration. Um, no issue. Uh, send Windows. Uh, Windows and SQLs of error report to Microsoft are uh, not required. So click the next. Uh, now it will. Uh, yeah, all things are passed. These two things are not applicable. Click over the next okay these things will be installed so here uh, you need to uh, click over the installation uh, then the installation uh, process will be start okay uh, so it will uh, take uh, some time to complete the installation uh, till that time we need to wait uh, okay 